Was I top a thousand last month? I don't know. Maybe. Um, <laughs> I haven't really been grinding ladder very much. Usually, at some point, I tank my MMR to like the bottom of legend, playing some garbage troll deck. For a while, I didn't really try and rank up on ladder because there's no incentive for players in Grand Masters League to rank up on the ladder. You gain literally nothing for like getting top ten legend because you're already in the Grand Masters League. So I didn't. I haven't laddered in like years. Like seriously. I just kind of play for fun. At one point, I qualified to the world champion by world championship, and I got to skip a bunch of phases because I was so high ranked on ladder consistently. That was a younger firebat, and at all of my first like esport events and stuff like that, I was just playing Hearthstone in the corner instead of talking to anybody. <laughs> We're going for it. He's going to ignore it. We're going to wild growth into Shadow Hunter it. Sorry for being new at Grandmasters League. It is the competitive Hearthstone circuit where you can win the world championship. Not everybody gets to win the world championship anymore. It used to be an open circuit thing where you could just like qualify through stuff. But now you got to qualify through stuff, which then qualifies you to the Grandmasters League. And then you got to win the Grandmasters League to qualify to the world championship. So they added another step. Darn, he had a minion. We're not doing infinite Zephyrus, it looks like. Unless we can palm reading a way to do it. Or unless he just doesn't trade for some reason. How many GM regions are there? There's four GM regions, right? There's Americas, Europe, Asia Pacific, and then China, who has their own system that's completely disconnected and they get to have, like, in-game tournament clients and all this other stuff. The China tournament scene looks sick. Bigger prize pool tournaments. A couple of players moved to China to play in tournaments. A couple of esports pro people. But then that whole thing kind of got shut down when COVID happened. But there was like huge talks of a lot of esports people going over to China. Because the Hearthstone Chinese scene is like popping off. This is going to be a really hard game to win. But an extra Plague of Death will help. Highlander Druid has uh, close to infinite resources. And we have... Klaus to infinite resources, but their infinite resources come out for zero mana a lot more often, and they can gain mana. It's going to be tough for us to keep up with their tempo early on, but if we had stabilized to keep up with their tempo early on, technically we have more value than them. And I say technically because it really depends on what they copy with their elise. I don't even know if that's worth it. Might be better to save that for a bigger target, honestly. Bees. Quality priest turn. It's okay. We're getting every card draw. We're one step closer to fatiguing him. Every single card draw. Put the B in his hand and pull out some battle cry minion. Yeah, that that's honestly not too bad because we have plague on the following turn. It's reasonable. You might have been right. Oh god. What is this? Make everything big. That's gonna be a hard card to beat. Survival. We at least know that he's not Highlander Druid if he plays Survival a lot of the times. Because right now he could be either Highlander or Survival. The bees probably lean more towards Highlander though. Need a hand, explorer? Well, we know for sure he is Highlander. I can take that. I can't really do anything with it though. <laughs> but I can take it. I kind of want to save this for the steal, but I can't let this live. We can pick up the Elise and then use the Elise against him. We'll infinite value his infinite value infinitely. 
Then we can copy Soul Mirror and Plague. <laughs> He can't kill it. We're taking the Elise with us. No, he can kill it. Why does he get so many owls? owls. Oh, no Elise. Oh, am I getting Elise? I think we're doing no steal. Your mind is not your How do I not snack all day while streaming? Well, if I snacked, you guys would uh, hear chomp, 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 and then you guys would abandon me. I can't snack. <laughs> I can't snack during this job. Unless I mute the microphone. I don't know, it's just, it's a worse viewership experience, I think, if I snack. I don't like watching streamers that eat food, so I try not to eat food too often on stream. Because I want to be a streamer that I would watch, and I'm not a fan of food ASMR. I mean, deep down, don't we all just want to be something that we like? He's got two Zephyrs in his hand and he's going to murder me. The Race Guy 83 thanks for three months. Welcome back to the Back Cave Team Thing, man. Appreciate the support. Glad to have you back. Boom, 710 Wind Fury. Another solar eclipse into. Okay, okay, that's not bad. That's bad. These are both insane drops. Why did he roll both of them? Both of them. Damn, dude. If these were just reasonably sized 8 drops, just Listen. pow pow. Double high roll. Listen. It sucks. I was hoping I could like over trade something, pick it back up with Vol'jin, then be able to play it, do it with another big spell, do it again later. But not versus those eight drops. We must stop this corruption. The Smoocher, thanks for seven months. Welcome back to the back cave team thing. Glad to have you back, dude. Dead to Zephyr, some are dead to the three mana deal four bite thing. Dead to claw too. Dead to many things. About what happens if you do a 24 hour stream? 24 hour streams are kind of cool. I've done a lot of them when I was younger, trying to build viewership and create an audience. I think they really help. The Twitch formula really rewards people for streaming very long hours. The longer you can stream without stopping, it's very beneficial for starting out as a Twitch channel. But um, I do not like streaming for really long hours. My nose starts bleeding and my head hurts after like 18-ish hours. But I've done a few streamathons and stuff like that. Ooh. Ooh. We want that for later. Can't play them both. Mm. We're dead. We're not gonna recover from one HP. <laughs> Life and hope are worth fighting. My dream is your mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do I do? I just tried this into one of the guys. We trade it into trade this here hysteria something. See what happens. It doesn't matter. Try and get a taunt on this, 
and play evasive for him. Take the Zephyrs to pick it back up later. Next turn we get a Zephyrus, guys. Next turn we get a Zephyrus. We pull it back. Three cost beasts. Don't kill the Zephyrus. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna need Zephyrus to stick again because I'm... I don't want to heal yet. We got to get ahead and then heal. So just stay clenched a little longer. We're going to make it through this. It'll be fine. It's going to be fine. Next turn Zephyrus for sure. I needed to get that battle cry value though. Now we get to put Zephyrus out and then maybe Cabal Acolyte steal something or have Ogremancer to cement our board position. Maybe we can take a value trade. The world of possibilities awaits us if Zephyrus lives and we'd also live. Right. I think odds are against us on this one. Never know, we could win. This would make a good YouTube video if we win this. Yeah, there was no way. Oh, I, we were setting up so beautifully to get our Zephyrus back and do things. There we go. He's back. Does he, he, does he have another Shadow Step? He used the Shadow Step on this for some reason. Oh, there it is. Okay, we're keeping it going. All right, Zephyrus number seven. Paladin Secrets. He upped its attack so I couldn't steal it with Cabal Acolyte. 